Hey everybody, welcome once again to Shorty on the Fly. And today we're going to be tying a brassy. I'm gonna tie this in a little unconventional way that works for me, uh, but perhaps you will find it helpful. And you're actually gonna get two flies for the price of one in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. For a hook, I am using a size 14 scud hook. And I'm gonna stick this in the vise a little deeper than I normally would because I'm going to use the back end here as an anchor point for my wire. And the wire I'm using is copper wire in the size brassy, and I'm just gonna hold the spool in my hand and pull out a little bit of wire and begin wrapping right down into where the hook is in the vise and use that as kind of my anchor point. And work my way up. And as I go, I'm just gonna take and shove any wraps that don't look like they're right next to each other back with my thumbnail and down into that spot that I have where the hook is in the vise and that'll hold everything in place, okay? And as we get toward the front, I'm gonna stop right here leave a little space. And now I'm not gonna cut this with my scissors. Uh, I've got a pair of toenail clippers here. I'm gonna use those to cut that off there. No sense dulling your scissors if you don't need to. And now we're gonna come in and capture it with our thread and take a couple of wraps just to get it started and then go ahead and capture that wire with the thread. And then grab the wire and helicopter it off and we're gonna do the same thing with the tag end at the back. Now, I know you think that's not gonna hold, but trust me, it will. Okay, that's in there, it's not going anywhere. Now all we have left to do is get some dubbing on, and in this case, I'm using black super fine dubbing. We wanna spin that on the thread, make sure it's good and tight and then wrap it around to create our head. And there you go. Now whip finish. And we are done. Nothing to it. But I promised you a second fly. Very much the same thing, but if you're not trusting this back end, it's not gonna unravel, and trust me, it won't unravel, but we're gonna go ahead and show you this one anyway. Um, you get another hook out here. Get it in the vise. Okay, and I'm gonna grab my wire again. And make sure I leave a good tag at the, at the back end and start wrapping. Got away from me in a hurry there, but that's why we use this technique because we can keep the wraps all next to each other. And I'm just letting the wire play off the spool as I go around and make these wraps. I've gotten used to doing this. It might take you a little while to get it figured out, but trust me, once you do, this is a really quick and easy way to do this. Okay, once again, we're getting up toward the front. Shove those back just a little bit. Oh yeah, we got a little more room there, look at that. Okay, now once again, I'm gonna come in with my toenail clippers and clip that off. And I'm gonna capture it with my thread, just like we did before. Helicopter it to break it off. We're gonna trim away the thread now take this tag end that you have on the other side and start making wraps, counter wraps over the wire that you already have. Try to get them nice and evenly spaced. And there we go. Go ahead and helicopter that off and reach for our dubbing. Once again, black super fine. You can use whatever you like here. Um, I'm using the black super fine because it, it 
goes on the thread very nicely, creates a nice head. You can use whatever you want. You can alter the color of the wire. Certainly you can alter the size of the hook. Um, you can add a bead if you want. All kinds of things you can do with this fly. And now come in and whip finish and we are done. Okay, two ways of tying basically the same thing. And once again, very, very versatile. Alter the color of the, uh, the wire, the size of the hook, get a bead on there, whatever dubbing you like. Very, very versatile pattern. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give us a like or a comment. As you know, we love hearing from you. We try to answer back. Uh, and uh, we're coming up on 1,000 um, subscribers on the channel, so I really appreciate the support. And we will see you again soon. Until then, I bid you peace.